Good morning. And welcome to St. Peter Claver Catholic Church. We are so happy that you have joined us today as we celebrate our parish feast day and the installation of our new pastor, Reverend Father Augustina Serrano, SVD, by the Most Reverend Bishop Gregory L. Parks. Please welcome, also welcome our kind of celebrants, the very Reverend Michael Summers, SVD, the Society of the Divine Word, Southern Province Provincial, and Reverend Father Pierre Dorville, the pastor of the Immaculate Conception Asian Mission. Also, Reverend Theo Gloria, ALCP, Reverend Stephan Brown, SVD, and other visiting clergy, and all who are here today. Please note our current responses to COVID, which includes social distancing, no holding on the hands your Lord's, the Lord's Prayer or sign of the peace, and no sharing of the precious blood. Also, for everyone's protection, face covering is requested in the church. You can deposit your offering in the baskets near the front pews as you approach for communion or at the end of Mass. Today's Mass is live on Facebook and will be available later on YouTube for those not present and, who, and so they can still participate spiritually in this celebration. As a reminder, please silence, switch off your phones during Mass. The restrooms are open in the social hall. In addition, all are welcome to join us for reception and continued celebration in the social hall following the conclusion of the Mass. And most importantly, a hearty thanks to those who have joined us today in person and virtually. Thank you all for celebrating with us this morning.
let us pray. O God, who have taught your church to keep all the heavenly commandments by love of you and God and love of neighbors, grant that practicing the works of charity after the example of St. Peter Claver, our patron saint, we may be worthy to be numbered among the blessed in your kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the readings. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard. My face I did not chill from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help. Therefore, I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. He is near who upholds my right. If anyone wishes to oppose me, let us appear together. Who disputes my right? Let that man confront me. See, the Lord God is my help. Who will prove me wrong? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
n'a coûté deuxième métier dans le Jacques, chapitre 2, sorti dans verset 14, privé dans verset 18. Frère, si on nous dit qu'il y a la foi, et puis il n'y pas pratiquer la charité, est-ce que la foi ça a sauvé Supposez, il y a un frère, ou sinon un soeur qui tout ou ni, qui n'a pas de manger. Et puis chaque jour, c'est comme ça. Si il y a un qui ou même aller, vous le bien. Chauffez pas où, mangez plein vent, sans lui pas parler, ça lui besoin. Qui sa parole ça a fait pour si là qui n'a besoin? C'est comme ça tout, pour la foi, non, mon Dieu, lui mourir, si lui pas marronné à la charité ou bien pas tard. Mais, qui ça a pour Jacques dit, l'air a prévenu, fait seul bête. D'où vient la foi et pour faire ni terre ni mer, mais ça lui dit. Ou qu'on ait un bagage, ou même, ou bien la foi, moi-même, moi fais ça qui vient. Mon grand qui mord la foi ou gagne, si ou pas fait ça qui vient, moi-même, ma montre ou la foi, moi. D'après pratique, remet tout bon bien. Ça, c'est par le bon Dieu qui a tout pouvoir. Merci, bon Dieu. He began to teach them, 
that the Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed and rise after three days. He spoke this openly. Then Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. At this he turned around and looking at Peter said, Get behind me, Satan. You are thinking not as God does, but as people do. He summoned the crowd with his disciples and said to them, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake and that of the gospel will save it. The gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear the song? Yes. Very good. <laughs> My dear brothers and sisters in the Lord, it is very good to be with you on this beautiful, beautiful Sunday morning, the Lord's Day, here at St. Peter Claver Parish to celebrate the Eucharist with you, to celebrate your parish feast day, and to officially install your new pastor, Father Augustinus Ferrari. As we gather, there is much to be joyful for on this day and in this community here. And it is always, as bishop, it is always good to be with you. Today in our gospel reading, Jesus is on the move with his disciples. They're traveling. They're walking. And as you might expect, during their journey, they engage in conversation. And this is what Jesus asked them. It says, along the way, Jesus asked his disciples, who do people say that I am? They said in reply, John the Baptist, others Elijah, and others one of the prophets. That's what they said to him. But then Jesus gets personal. He makes it personal. And he says, but who do you say that I am? Notice the progression. It starts out as a general question. Who do people, who do the masses say that I am? And they give kind of a general response. But then he makes it personal. And he says, who do you say that I am? And we read that Peter said to him in reply, you are the Messiah. You are the Messiah. My dear brothers and sisters, if somebody who didn't really know much about being Catholic or about being a Christian, 
were to ask you, who is this Jesus? Who is Jesus that I hear that you worship? Who is he? How would you respond to that question? Perhaps you might say something like this. Well, he was born in Bethlehem. His mother's name was Mary. His earthly father was Joseph. He grew up in Nazareth, and his father was a carpenter. And then when he was more or less about 30 years old, he began to travel around the neighboring villages and towns and began to preach and to teach and to perform wonderful signs and miracles before the people. And then just a few years later, he was persecuted, he was crucified, and he died. Now, if you were to respond to that question, who is Jesus, you would be correct. Because we know all of those things. Just read the Bible, right? The Word of God. We know that. But that answer would be from up here. It, it would be an intellectual response or answer. But I think our Lord wants us to answer at a more personal level. Not to answer from up here, from what anybody really could know by just Googling Jesus of Nazareth, right? But if somebody were to ask you, who is Jesus Christ to you? Who is he for you? And what difference does he make in your life? How would you answer that question? Would you answer from up here, based on knowledge, or would your answer come from here? Would, would it come from the heart? Would it come from your soul as to who Jesus is for you and the difference it makes? You see, if somebody were to say, who is Bishop Parks, right? Well, well probably the first thing somebody would say is, He's very tall, right? <laughs> he's, he's six foot eight. I, I understand he was born in New York. He's a Bucks fan, no Bucks, right? He's also a Florida State fan. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, come on, y'all, we're not gonna go there, are we? <laughs> <laughs> and, and those things would be true. But in order to really tell somebody who Bishop Parks is, who Gregory Parks is, you would need to spend time with me. You would need to really get to know me at more than just a superficial level, just a factual level things that you might know about me or about my life. You would have to experience me over a period of time, experience my presence. And likewise, for me to get to know you the same way. My dear friends, if we are gonna have a knowledge of who Jesus Christ is, we have to spend time with him. We have to get to know him. We have to be with him. We have to experience him in our lives. Because if we don't, our knowledge of who he is is merely up here. And, and it never reaches this level here. It, it doesn't reach the heart. And, and it doesn't reach the soul. You see, God created us in a very special way. He didn't create us so that we would never be able to know who he is. 
He created us in such a way that we can know things about him and that we can enter into relationship with him and with his son, Jesus Christ. That's part of who we are. He, he didn't give that gift and that dignity to every created being. He, he gave it to us, created in his image and likeness as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, a union of three persons, divine in majesty, a relationship. That's how we were created. And that is how God has called us to live with each other as community, but also in our relationship with him. If we are truly to come to know who Jesus Christ is, we have to spend time with him. Yes, we, we have to study his word, have to know God's word, right? Amen. But we also have to spend time with him in prayer mm. and in conversation. Each day, just sharing our lives with him, giving thanks for the good things, the blessings that he gives to us, but also asking for his help, his assistance, his strength during those times of difficulty and times of adversity. Do we only go to him when we need something? <laughs> when, when things aren't going too well, right? Is that when we pray? Or do we begin each day in prayer and in gratitude for the gift of another day? I think it's a, just a beautiful little prayer to say, you say, Bishop, um, I just don't know how to pray. I, I don't know what to say. Uh, I know my Our Father and my Hail Mary, and, and that's great. Those are wonderful, beautiful, beautiful prayers in our Catholic treasury. But I think just a beautiful prayer to pray first thing in the morning, maybe when you wake up. You know, God, thank you for the gift of another day. Amen. Amen. Thank you for the gift of another day. I don't know what this day is going to bring, but thank you for the gift of this day. Thank you for your presence in my life and help me today to live this day as you have called me and created me to live it. Amen. Very simple, but a very, very beautiful prayer. And then if you can remember at night before you go to bed, again, just a simple thought or a prayer. Again, thank you, Lord, for the gift of this day. It, it was a tough day. Mm. It, it had its challenges. It was difficult. Lord, you know what I went through. But I thank you. I thank you for being with me today, for leading me and guiding me through this day. Mm. See, that's what happens when we have a relationship with the Lord. That's what can be possible. Jesus is there for you. My brothers and sisters, to help and to assist you in growing in your relationship with the Lord and courageously living the gospel, today I give to you your new pastor. And so as part of this, amen. So we will now install Father Augustinus as your pastor. I don't think as bishop, as your bishop, that I ask very much of you. I try not to, <laughs> believe it or not. It might seem different than that. <laughs> believe me, I try, try not to ask too much of you. But what I do ask is this. With regard to Father Augustinus, with regard to Deacon, regard to Father Pierre and Father Dorville, to our priests. I ask that you love them. I ask that you support them. And I ask that you pray for them. Amen. Amen. Know that we as your priests and deacons, we, we pray for you yeah. and for your families. And we just ask that once in a while, you remember to pray for us. Yeah. That, that we might be the priest, the deacon, that God has called us to be. 
and that you, his people, so richly deserve. Amen. 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 my dear friends, because I am aware of your pastoral needs and am am confident of Father Augustinus Saran's qualifications for the office of pastor, I now commend Father Augustinus to you as your new pastor. I also believe everything contained in God's word 
written or handed down in tradition and proposed by the church, whether in solemn judgment or in ordinary and universal magisterium, as divinely revealed and calling for faith. I also firmly accept and hold each and everything that is proposed by the church definitively according regarding teaching on faith and morals. Moreover, I adhere with religious submission of will and intellect to the teachings which either the Roman Pontiff or the College of Bishops enunciate when they exercise the authentic magisterium, even if they proclaim those teachings in an act that is not definitive. <laughs> Father Augustinus, my brother, congratulations and may God bless you all. <laughs> Please stand for the prayer of faithful. Confident in God who brings streams to the desert and springs of water to dry ground, we give voice to our needs and the needs of the world. Pour l'église là, par François dirigé, Dieu sait nous en bas direction, Monseigneur Gregory Quartz, à tout pasteur New York avec lui, et puis nous même tout. Pour la foi, nous, tout paraît à clair dans tout ça nous fait, dans tout ça nous dit. Il y a des gens pour nous aider, l'autre petit bon Dieu, la vie au tout même, il y a un bon terrain qui permet de bon Dieu dans nous pour du feu. For the Church, under the leadership of Pope Francis, our diocese, under the leadership of Bishop Gregory Parks, our priests and deacons, that we may be a consistent witness to our faith, leading others to realize God's grace through our words and actions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Pupe, Augustine Stoneman, qui installé officiellement Jodia, d'après le droit qu'à nous l'église catholique là, comme pasteur nous, pour bon Dieu faire les faveurs, bah les bonnes santé n'ont pas de temps pour nous nommer, pour les cas de sagesse et l'équilibre nécessaire, pour le capable d'engager tête libre, pour diriger paroisse nous, avec un pile de remède, à discernement pendant la nuit qu'à vous nous. For Father Augustinus Saran, who was formally installed today as our pastor, that he will remain physically and spiritually healthy and strong 
and serve this parish community with love and commitment for years to come, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Pour tout le monde qui veut découvrir, va l'essence la vie en notre tout bon travail à faire qui calait à volonté de Dieu. Pour travailler au côté changement positif dans la vie de Dieu. En même temps, pour le monde qui veut travailler, cap chercher travail, fait ça avec patience et persistance. For all who labor, that the work they do may bring purpose to their lives and make a difference in the lives of others. And for those who are looking for work, that their patience and persistence may be rewarded. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, la guerre en Afghanistan, pour générosité de notre nation, fait jouer aide à toute qualité si pour, ou bien réconfort pour y réparer, ou sinon améliorer la vie. For all those here, or their families suffering from the effects of Hurricane Ida, the earthquake in Haiti, or the war in Afghanistan, that they may receive the help and comfort they need to rebuild or sustain their lives and livelihoods. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the people who murdered, victims of catastrophe on September 2001, it's been a year for the quantity of people, a lot of people who murdered in other circumstances, such as the crisis of cardiac arrhythmia, pour vous dire les voyons dans quel lieu, c'est le côté qui gagne qui est posé à consolation du monde. For all whose lives were forever changed 20 years ago, on September 11, 2001, and for the thousands of victims who died in the attacks, that they may be at peace, comforted in the heart of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pour toute détention messe nous gagnons aujourd'hui, pour tout ce qui est malade, tout ce qui fait partie de la communauté de saint pierre Clever, saint pierre Clever School, l'Immaculée Conception Haitian Mission, à tout prier nous, qui est bien dans le silence que nous, pour tout détention nous. For the intention of today's Mass, for all of the sick, and for the recently departed from our community of St. Peter Claver, St. Peter Claver School, and Immaculate Conception Haitian Mission, for all the prayer prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all of our intentions, spoken and unspoken. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of all who bring hope to those without hope, love to those without love, life to those without life. Look with favor on your children and fulfill our most precious needs with the hope, love, and life that only you can bring through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, let the church say amen. 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 Please be seated.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord make us Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on the altar on, in commemoration of St. Peter Claver, so that as you brought him glory, you may through these sacred mysteries grant to us your pardon, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Your heart Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their own way of life, you offer us an example by communion with them. You give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support, so that encouraged by so great a crowd of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us, and you will then the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so with the angels and archangels and with the great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we are claimed. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We... celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. May the Lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity. Together with Francis our Pope and Gregory our Bishop and all the clergy, religious brothers and sisters and missionaries. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection. And all who died in your mercy, welcome them to life your faith. Have mercy all we pray that the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your Blessed Apostles, with St. Peter Claver and St. Arnold Jansen, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may Mary be coerced your eternal life, may praise you, praise and glorify you, to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us share with each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you all.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body and blood of Christ be saved for eternal life. Amen.
Good morning. Good morning. Let's give a deep, deep applause to our choir. Thank you so much. So today, officially, I become your pastor, yeah? yeah. Thanks a lot, yeah. Thanks for being here. Bishop, on behalf of this great community of St. Peter Clayford and Asian community, from the bottom of my heart, I would like to thank you for taking your time to be with us this morning to celebrate our feast day of St. Peter Clayford. It's a, it's a great, great feast that we are celebrating today. Again, Bishop, from the bottom of my heart, I'm grateful and thank you for your presence. And also, to our call. Thank you, Father, for being here. And to my uh, fellow priests, Father Pierre. Thank you, Father Pierre. Just come celebrate with us this morning. And Father Pierre. Thank you, Father Pierre. And to my senior. SVD, Father Stefan Brown. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Being such a good SVD to be here to support me. Thank you, Father, for your presence. And uh, somehow, somewhere, uh, my official cannot make it for today, so he asked to uh, ask for um, forgiveness, and uh, for some reason, he couldn't make it for today. So, but he, uh, he sent his uh, his greetings and. He is thankful heart to the great uh, Church of St. Peter Claver and the community. And um, next one is when you make a, a thank, thank you notes, it's hard to mention the litany of the saints, yeah? <laughs> and the litany of thanks. So I begin with the, uh, with the altar servers. Let's give them a big hand. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And also to Deacon, Deacon, Deacon Benz, Deacon. And of course, to the great two choirs. And also to uh, students of St. Peter Claver Catholic Church. To the teachers and the staff. Are they still here? Are they still here? They got next door. Oh, they moved to the next door already. All right, and for the, for the staff, the staff here, the teachers, would you kindly stand to get knowledge? The teachers and the staff. Thank you for your presence. Thank you. And next one is the committee that worked so hard to make today possible. The committee that worked so hard from the bottom of my heart, I'm grateful and thankful. I want to kindly stand to be acknowledged. The community. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Sylvia, thank you. And anything else, I think? I forgot already, huh? Dale over there. Dale to make everything. Oh yeah, and also we have uh, Indonesian's family here with us, Sylvia and his family. Thank you. And plus, 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 I have one all the way from Timor, from the island where I'm from. He's, she's here, Zanelda. Where is Zanelda? She's one of our teachers at St. Peter Clayford Catholic Church. We are both from the same island. Zanelda, thank you so much. And in fact, in fact, my whole family is from Indonesia. My mom is following us with the celebration today. My mom and my, uh, my siblings, my mom and my siblings, and my nephews and nieces, all the way from Indonesia. Thank you so much for following us. They're on the, on the Facebook following us today for the celebration. And last. Superintendent School. We have Chris. all right, Chris. Thank you, Chris. Good, good to have you, Chris. Thank you so much. And because of the hard work of the committee, don't leave after the church. We have the reception. 
across the street. So join us for the fellowship because I haven't seen you all yet. <laughs> I'm going to see you at the Paris Hall. And again, Bishop, uh, on behalf of this great community of St. Peter Clayford, I'm grateful and thankful for your presence, taking your busy schedule to be with us this morning for this great celebration. After the uh, closing prayer, there will be no procession, so we will have the pictures right after the, uh, the, the closing prayer. So the photographer is going to take the picture right after the closing prayer. So please stand and join us for the closing prayer. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we who are renewed by these sacred mysteries may follow the example of St. Peter Clayford, who honored you with tirelessly devotion and by surpassing charity was of service to your people through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, who made St. Peter Clayford a slave of slaves, and strengthen him with wonderful charity and passions as he came to their help, enable you to follow his example in serving the people God has entrusted to your care we say amen. 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 Freed through St. Peter Claver's intercession from present ills, and formed by the extraordinary example of his holy life of service to the poor, may you be ever devoted to serving God and your neighbor, let the church say amen. amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever and ever. We say amen. 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 The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. I will see you at the Paris Hall. Everybody join in with this little light of mine. I know we all know. <laughs> Thank you.